Dude, dudes. Okay. So I'm like looking at a game theory episode where Matt Pat pretty much diagnosed. Does a little diagnose. Uh, <laughs> he diagnosed the uh, angry video game nerd. You know, the character as having like uh, a lot of these. Like a lot of these problems. And kudos to Matt Pat because they are really. You know, it was kind of. A little. You can peek in what the end of it, it was pretty cool, but not here. What I'm not what I'm trying to talk about today. Um, so I looked down at one of the comments, and um, this one dude's like, you know, the angry real game nerd tried to freak, you know, freaking when he was donating to his fans. You know, he's asking the fans to donate to the movie that was a scam, by the way, because he admitted it was a scam. Just to get money and blah blah blah. And I was like, I wanted to, you know, I didn't type this out, but the dude who said that, <laughs> you're a freaking idiot. Do you know how long it probably is probably taking him to do it? And yeah, he didn't want to ask for his fans because he didn't because he didn't want to do that. To, he didn't want to. He don't want to be asked for money. I know a lot of people that don't like asking for money, but when they have to, they have to. Jesus. But oh, but oh, you guys always have to go, oh, he, could have made a lot of, he makes a lot of money on his YouTube channel anyway, so it doesn't really matter. He can, he can use all that money he uses for freaking, he can use all that money that he uses for freaking, like, for freaking, like, funding the movie himself. I'm like, guys, why is it when everybody's, when some dude asks to donate for some, for a fan thing, for the fans, everybody has to be all up in arms about it. That's what really ticks me off. And yes, this is a fan Brett Basher video if you haven't figured that out yet. It just really ticks me off. I'm not saying this as an angry real game nerd fanboy. I've noticed that a lot. Of, I noticed that a lot when it comes to YouTubers actually giving, you know, YouTubers actually giving a crap and uh, asking people to donate. Y'all have to donate, kids. It's not a freak. It's no one's forcing you. No one was forcing you. No one asked you. But <coughs> it's like it's like you guys go, oh, the freaking. James Roth has certainly got some brass ones to ask us to freaking donate for a fan thing that we could all watch. You know? And we don't even have to donate. You know, that's the one thing I got mad about the free... That's the one thing I got mad about the Archfiend about. Because he always... He always kind of went after the nerd. I mean, that wasn't his primary focus all the time. But he just got on the nerves. I'm like, dude, go to, go to talk about something else. Go to talk about something else. You got other things that probably make you make you angry that you want to rant about. But, you know, stuff like that. And don't get me wrong, I like the Archfiend's videos, but when it came to like him messing with the, you know, him talking about the angry video game there, it was just like, dude, you kind of. He kept doing, he kept, like, doing it, and I was like, eh, come on, man, there's other stuff you could be talking about. And trust me, I, I like to believe that the angry real you know, that James Rolfe is working on this movie, and he probably found, like, a few problems, and there's probably other stuff behind the scenes that's going on that he wasn't able to release this movie yet, and you're like, you guys are all like, Oh, it's a scam. Give the man time. God dang it. You guys are always gonna, you know, you guys are like, rrr, 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 about it. It's just, you shouldn't be whining about it. And another thing, when people ask to donate, don't get upset. You act like it's like the audacity of these people asking us to donate. Oh my god, I'm just so enraged. I'm like, dudes, if they ask it, if they ask for some donations, you don't have to donate. The donations are optional. 
I don't know why people always get mad at that kind of crap. If you don't want to donate, that's fine. No one is forcing you to. I just feel you think you think it pretty you pretty full of yourself if you just won't if you won't friggin' donate something to somebody, it just really gets me mad. Um, okay, what up? What else? So, you know, and I know the freaking movie ain't a scam because trust me, let's just say let's just say old Bugsy has a lot more knowledge than you guys do. And I'll just leave it at that. But you guys need to understand it's the movie's not a freaking the movie's not a freaking scam. There's just probably a lot of stuff going on that he wasn't that James hasn't been able to freaking finish the movie and put it on YouTube or Cinemassacre. You guys need to freaking wait. Okay, and for all the skepticals out there that say, that say oh, you just used, he just did to get all this money. He does it for, he does it for his fans, people. Again, like all of, like some YouTubers out there, they understand Without fans, they're nothing. James understands this, so he wouldn't—he wouldn't screw us all like this. Just he wouldn't just screw us all like this. Like I don't know, I don't know. You guys have like you guys can be cynical if you want, and trust me, I I shouldn't be talking because I'm a pretty because I can be a pretty cynical person myself, but. But what I just really have to say is just calm. Just calm your boobs. Just calm down. Jeez. Um, what else? What else do I need to talk about? Uh, this probably is unrelated to the video. Um, a pro, um, the playthrough for Paper Mario is actually coming, uh, Monday. Like, um, Monday. I'm not going to do it on Easter, because I'll be doing stuff on Easter. <laughs> so, yeah. You know, <clears throat> so, you're going to have to wait a little bit longer. <clears throat> you're going to have to wait a little bit longer for... For Super Mario... <clears throat> Sorry. I don't got it in me right now. Do Mario's voice. But, uh, can you it? You're going to have to wait a little bit longer for the... Very, very raunchy playthrough of Paper Mario. Just for a little longer. Not for too, not for too long. But, uh, anyways, um, you know, I just really get mad because, you know, there's a lot of, you know, because when Neo Tanami was asking for donations, wherever where I'd had to say something about it. You know, when someone asks his donations on the internet, I understand people's skept skepticism. I can understand all that, but you know, you just gotta, you just gotta have faith in some people sometimes. And I know it, and I know, <clears throat> and I know I'd be lying to you if you, I'd be lying to you and saying that you know you don't get scammed. But, you know, donating people that doesn't mean you won't get scammed on the internet ever. But some people, you just gotta take a little leap of faith. You know. That's the what that's the one thing you people that's the one thing you need to learn people. Instead of just and really and whoever wrote that comment because I didn't see your actual screen name, you need to understand that think before you say something because the the fan Brett Basher, he watches. See. He watch I watch you guys. You know, and if it gets me angry enough, I will talk about it. All right. <clears throat> and another thing I wanted to really um, talk about um, the stuff about Samus. Like, I, just, I like I don't even know where to begin because you guys like because some people are like, oh, Samus is oversexualized. Well, Samus was always a very, very sexual, sexual character. And I'm only going to talk a little bit about it because I know 
There's another guy, Jin Goomba, and uh, Carver do a, did a lot better than me. Even guy, Jin Goomba, did it better than me because, you know, even guy, Jin Goomba, probably is going to say this a little bit better than me, said it a little bit better than what I'm about to say because he was freaking, <laughs> he was freaking tired. I was like, dude. Dude, I wish I was, I wish I was like, I wish I could do that. <laughs> but if I'm going to have a sleep, I'm probably going to talk about some weird, I'm probably going to talk about some weird stuff while I'm talking to you guys. It's just going to be weird. But I will say this about Samus. Who freaking cares if she's over-sexualized? I think Samus is a character, Samus is a awesome character. She's strong and tended to stuff. And she... She's... Yeah, she's hot. That's like a secondary thing. Yeah. She's freaking... She's freaking awesome. So... So she... So who cares if she's a little... Who cares if she's a little sexualized? If it doesn't really change how... She, like I always say... The character's looks doesn't define the character. It's like everybody always goes like, Oh, this character looks weird. This character looks like this. I always go back to the Sonic thing because that is the most prominent example. Because every time, every time a character changes a little bit, everybody tries, everybody cries, Everybody, cry, everybody cries shenanigans are foul because, oh, it's just how it is. But, if Samus is still the same character, and she's got, like, and eh, she's a little different, it, you know, bigger boobs and a freaking high heels, <laughs> rocket heels, but if she's still the same, I don't freaking give to, I don't freaking give to flying farts in space. Okay, people, you need to understand when a character changes, it doesn't change their overall how they are. God dang, you know, it's always gonna be sexual. God dang, it's always gonna be sexual and tough. You weirdo, you weirdos. You know. So that's all I had to say on that. Like I said, go look at Cur go look at the curve blog. Go look at Curve for a uh, video vlog, and go look at Kaijin Goomba because they said it a lot more eloquent eloquently than I do. I just think you know, it just all comes down to the looks, and you guys shouldn't really give a crap if she's if she's a character that's fun to play in Smash. You should play it. I mean. If she's a character that's fun to play in Smash, regardless of how she looks, you shouldn't care. Okay? Like, people, we need to stop tripping about characters and how they look. It's just stupid. God dang, it's like it's like all it's like the it's like the Sonic fanboys all over again. Oh, we don't like modern Sonic because he's too skinny. Ooh, we wanna go back to classic Sonic. Well, kitties, uh, I would like to say one thing to every last one of you, and this goes to every every person that trips out when a character changes, and you re overreact in the most childish way possible. And I got two words for you: grow up, okay? Get with the times, or you're just gonna be left behind, okay? And that's not for Samus. That's for everybody that freaks out on a character's look in general. Okay, I'm out of here. This has been Bugsy, aka the Fan Brat Basher, and I will talk to you later. See you guys soon.